In today's video, I'm going to be replacing the brake pads on a 2014 Subaru Outback. This is going to be applicable for all Outbacks between the 2006 and 2014 model year. First step is to get the vehicle jacked up. You'll see we've got a floor jack and then a jack stand as a secondary precaution. And then we'll remove the wheel up front. And then the next step, we've got a 14 millimeter bolt here on the top and another on the bottom that we're going to loosen. Okay, so once you get those two bolts removed, we're just going to slide this off and then it's hanging by the brake hose here so we don't want to allow it to just hang or you could damage that hose and so we've got a bungee cord that we're just going to wrap around and we're going to secure it up through the shock to support that weight okay and with that supported um, then we can take out the brake pads. Those will just slide out. We've got this one, and then there's one on the inside as well. All right, I'll take out the inside. And once those are off, then we need a 17 millimeter socket, and we're going to remove the whole caliper off of the rotor. Uh, again, we've got two bolts right here on the inside, one up on the top. And then there's another one directly down below it. So with those two 17 millimeter bolts removed, now we'll remove the entire caliper. You will find that those two are probably gonna be a little bit tight, so you may need a breaker bar, although the upper one, it's gonna be a little bit hard to fit in there. Clearance is definitely a challenge. And there we go, we got the caliper off. So next step is to remove the rotor. It may pull off very gently, um, but if it doesn't, you can get an M8 screw, do one on each side here, and just kind of thread it in and go back and forth from one side to the other until it breaks free. And then we can just gently lift the rotor off. Once we've got that rotor off, we're just gonna work in the opposite direction. So take the new rotor, line it up with those bolts, and just slide it on. You can see here we're using some brake parts cleaner. So just clean off the caliper. Get some of the dirt and grime off of there. Ideally, you'd be doing this with a wire brush, but we don't have one. Just keep as clean as we can. The next step, we're going to remove these slide pins on both sides. Just gently pull them out. You can see that there's some old dirty grease on here. We're going to clean those off and then reapply new grease and then reinsert them. All right, so with those pins back in, I'm gonna position the caliper back on the new rotor. Slide it on here. Seventeen millimeter bolts that we removed before, and then in there to line up and get this hand tight. And then once it's hand tightened, tighten it up to the factory spec. So next, we're going to put the new brake pad back in. Already did it on the inside. It'll kind of pop into place there. Just lower clip on the outside, and then the other clip inside. Prior to install you also want to add a little bit of this grease on the back side as well as on the bottom and top. Prior to compressing the brake caliper just want to open up this cap here. This is the reservoir for the brake fluid just gives it a little bit extra volume for when we compress that. For this next step, we need to compress the caliper and you can do it with a special tool or you can use an old brake pad and a C-clamp and just go back and forth from one side to the other to slowly compress the pad.
Make sure you just put the caliper cover back on. With that cover back on, we're going to tighten the two 14 millimeter bolts, one at the bottom and one at the top. Once that caliper is back on, we want to make sure that we retighten this cap on the brake fluid reservoir. So with the wheel back on, the brake install is complete on the Subaru Outback. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. For more car videos, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.